bigotry trivia time. Grab your friends and play it online. With Ali and Gina and Taco just for you. It's bigotry trivia time. And we'll feel it all right. Okay, come on, let's Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good evening, everybody. Uh, Good evening. So excited to be here with you for this Friends Trivia Night. My name is Ali. Oh, shaky Ali. My name is Ali with Bag of Tricks Entertainment. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, it's just after 9 o'clock Central Time here uh, on this beautiful Tuesday evening. So we will be playing Friends Trivia in just a few minutes. If this is your first time joining us, uh, before we go any further... If you can hear and see me, you're halfway there. You do want to join our online game. Uh, you're going to be on YouTube to see and hear the questions being read to you. But in order to actually answer, in order to submit your answers so that you are graded and eligible to win the prize tonight, that was provided by our awesome sponsor, Bella Rocka Skin Care, you do want to join the online game. It's very simple. You don't need to download anything. I recommend opening up your phone. So keep YouTube on your computer. Use your phone to go to the website online.bagoftricks.com and then enter the code JOEY. Online.bagoftricks.com. Once you go there, you will see a box that says enter your game code. If you put in the code JOEY, you will see a screen that looks like this. It's going to ask you for two pieces of information. It will ask you for your name. My name is Ali. And what state you are playing from. If you're in the United States, if you're in a different country, please let us know. Uh, we have a lot of uh, wonderful regular players from Canada, um, from the UK, and all over the world now. That's one cool thing with this online trivia format. So let us know where you're playing from. We like knowing. And once you see this screen that says the game will begin shortly, you are good to go. Nothing's going to change on that end until I actually start the game, which I will do in just a few minutes. I want to give everyone a chance to join. Let me check really quick. We have 176 people in with us right now. Uh, so thank you all for being here. That is still growing, so I'm going to wait just a few minutes before we actually start the game. Uh, in the meantime, I'll tell you a, a few fun things. First and foremost, we're so excited to be hosting this for you. If this is your first time playing trivia online, with Bag of Tricks. We are not traditionally an online trivia company, um, but we have pivoted and started offering trivia in this online format since... Pivoted. Yeah, we have pivoted! Ah, I didn't even mean to! Uh, we have pivoted and started offering trivia in this online format because bars and restaurants are closed for dine-in service, and that's where we do all of our events, typically. Um, so, you guys have been incredible about showing up, coming out, inviting your friends, inviting your family to these events. We really appreciate it. Um, and we also sincerely appreciate those of you that have donated. Um, you'll see the links down below me here uh, throughout the night. They won't go anywhere. If you feel so inclined, if you are able to, we do sincerely appreciate any and all donations that you send to Bag of Tricks Entertainment. We have no other business right now. Everything we do is online with you guys. So every single donation that you send goes a very long way in allowing us to do more and more to keep you entertained during this lockdown period. Um, Thank you to everybody that's already donated. If you don't know, what we do every week, we choose one person from everyone that's donated, and they get to choose one of the trivia nights that we do next week. Um, so this week, the individual um, that was chosen is Maggie. And for her, she asked us, instead of doing a special theme trivia, she asked us to do a general knowledge trivia night with questions from six of her favorite categories. So that's tomorrow night at 9. But if you win next week's donation drawing... You could ask us to do any show, movie, book, uh, or a special general knowledge night. If you really like Friends, I'm imagining most of you do, you could ask us to do Friends again next week. We'll do all new questions, but the same format, just for you, as a way to say thank you for supporting us online. Again, I already saw um, one or two donations come in before we even started this. Sheila, thank you so much for the donation. Anyone else that donates throughout this, if I don't give you a shout out, that doesn't mean I don't love you. I appreciate every donation that comes through, guys. Thank you so much. Um, so we will get started with the game here in just a minute. I'll give you a brief overview of how the game works right before we start. But before then, 
I'll tell you uh, what we have coming up the rest of the week. I'll keep it very short because you can find all the details on our Facebook and on our website. Um, tonight we're doing Friends. Tomorrow at 7 p.m. is Music Bingo with Bobby K. He is doing 90s one-hit wonders. So every song that he plays is going to be one of the big one-hit wonders from the 1990s. If you haven't played Music Bingo with us, it's fun, it's free, and you can win a gift card to Elmer's Brewing Company. So you have to sign up ahead of time. That's it. And then I'll send you your own bingo card. The card has songs in the squares rather than numbers. If you hear Bobby K play your song, you mark it off. If you get five in a row, you comment bingo and you win a $25 gift card if you're the first person to do that. So do check that out. You'll see that on the screen here in just a second. And then right after that at nine o'clock is our special themed general knowledge night for Maggie. We're going to be doing questions uh, from categories like Nightmare Before Christmas, H.H. Holmes, or Devil in the White City, uh, Disney Parks, Cocktails, Grey's Anatomy, and Harry Potter. Look, I didn't even have to look this time. I remembered them all. Um, and then Thursday, we have General Knowledge Trivia at 7 o'clock and 1980s Pop Culture Trivia at 9. All your favorite movies, music, and TV shows, um, all pop culture from the 80s on Thursday. This weekend, we have two incredible fundraising opportunities for you to attend uh, on Friday, we're supporting an organization called The Harbor out of Downers Grove. And on Saturday, we're supporting PAWS Chicago, P-A-W-S, all your furry little friends. Uh, you can help them out just by joining us for General Knowledge Trivia on Saturday or The Harbor on Friday. Both of those events are listed on our Facebook, so do check them out and do join us. We have a whole bunch of fun stuff, guys. We've said it since day one of this lockdown. As long as this is going on, we will be delivering fun, interactive trivia and music bingo and other things soon to come as well for, to keep you entertained. So thank you guys for supporting us, for inviting your friends. Um, if you're in the comments and you have questions, Gina is out there. She's answering them to the best of her ability. Um, please be patient. This format is new to everybody, including us. Um, so if you're not sure how to play, you will get some instructions here in just a second. Uh, let's see. Ooh, Sarah, another way I've been playing is on your iPad. I do the split screen. That's good. Uh, yeah, if you're trying to go directly to online.begatrix.com slash Joey and it's not working, just go to online.begatrix.com, hit enter, and then it'll take you to a screen. It'll ask you for the code. Um, so I know there's a lot of new people. So those of you that have done this before, bear with me here. I want to show this. Online.begatrix.com. This is the screen you will see. Enter the code to join. I tried to keep it as simple as possible. If your phone blocks the site, there's nothing I can do. I do apologize. Um, that's an issue on your end. Um, I don't know how to solve that. But as you saw here, once you go and you hit Joey, continue answering. Bag of Tricks, Friends, Trivia across the top. Once you see that screen, you're good to go. For everybody else that's already there, once we start, we are going to have a mixture of multiple choice trivia and open-ended fill-in-the-blank trivia on your own. So we'll start it out easy with multiple choice questions, which means I'll ask a question. You'll have four answers appear on the screen this way, uh, I guess right here, uh, A, B, C, or D. Every one of those multiple choice questions, A, B, C, or D is always, one of them is correct. So you at least have a 25% shot of guessing the right answer if you're not sure. You'll have a 30-second timer. When I start the timer, you have 30 seconds to get your answer in. The sooner you click the answer, the more points you earn if you are correct. So you do want to be quick about it, but not too quick because if you click the wrong answer, if you think it's A, you hit A and then you realize, oh shoot, it's B, you can't undo it. You can't take back your answer. Whatever you click is submitted. Um, so make sure that you find the balance between clicking quickly, but also clicking the right answer. Uh, overall, some of these questions are simple, but some of them I will tell you right now, do get pretty difficult. We did friend trivia online once before, uh, right at the beginning of the lockdown. And I think 75 to 80% of the people playing didn't miss a question. So I ramped it up tonight. I made it a little more difficult. Um, so just don't at me. I know it's going to be tough at the end. Um, you. yeah, <laughs> thank you. Uh, that is on purpose, but the individual with the most points at the end will win this awesome gift basket here this way. Ooh, yeah. Oh, oh. This internet thing oh, is crazy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, a whole bunch of incredible products courtesy of our sponsor, Bella Rocca Skin Care. They're out of Lombard, Illinois. Um, obviously, typically they would be offering lots of in-person services, um, 
all sorts of stuff to make you look and feel beautiful. Um, they are not doing that right now because of everything going on, but they are still offering many products online, including everything included in this basket. So do check it out. Bella Rocca Skincare is on Facebook. Thank you so much, Laura and Bella Rocca, for sponsoring tonight's trivia. Um, that is it in terms of what we're going to talk about before we start the game. I will click over here to the thing. Eh, 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 eh. No. Just kidding! Uh, if anybody out there played Friends Trivia with us the first time, you got to look at this GIF for literally about 10 minutes because the entire game froze. So I thought I would give you some uh, wartime flashbacks by you. throwing it up there just for fun. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, that's fine. Not everybody will. Um, but for those of you that were with us from the beginning, that was for you. Um, so now I actually will switch over. You will see the questions and the answer choices here on the screen. But again, remember to join the online game, online.vegatrix.com. The code is Joey. Do not answer in the YouTube comments. If you type your answers into the YouTube comments, we'll ask you once to stop. If you continue to do it, we'll just block you from chatting and commenting. And I'm just being very forward and blunt about this because we have a lot of people here tonight. Um, 249 people are signed on right now. So thank you guys so much for being here. We're very excited. We took a guess beforehand and Gina said she thought 250 would be here. So sorry, you're off by one. So I don't clean bathroom sure much. Yeah, just kidding. I wasn't even close. Up 250. Somebody else just logged on. So Gina There's nailed it. request for the Zac Efron gift. Uh, oh, I could try to find the Zac Efron gift. I'll just post that later. Um, so we are going to get started again. Multiple choice questions. You'll have 30 seconds to answer, but the quicker you answer, the more points you'll learn if you're correct. Things will change when we switch the format, but I'll announce that uh, and I'll tell you how to play before we switch. The very first question that you see tonight, everybody, the very first question tonight is a practice question. It looks and it acts just like every other multiple choice question, but it's not worth any points. So this is just for those of you that have never played via this online system before. I want you to get a feel for how it works. Um, and you're going to see it pop up here in just a second before we do. This is a much larger glass of scotch than I intended to pour, but here we are. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for being here. Yeah, it's just the rest of the bottle. Uh, cheers. Thank you for being here. Thank you for spending your Tuesday night at 9 o'clock online with us. I know many of you out there uh, I, I probably recognize, but to those of you that are here for the first time, thank you um, for making this something that you're doing tonight. And to those of you that are back, thanks for being back. Cheers, Amy. Cheers, Stephanie. Cheers, everybody else. Julie, thanks for being here. Whew. All right. Oh, yeah. Scotch, scotch, scotch. Scotchy, scotch, scotch. Yes, I believe this is still the same scotch you have This is Lagavulin 12, yes. Now it's gone. All right, here we go, guys. I'm going to click this button. First question is going to pop up. You won't see the answers until I start the timer. So once you see the answers, you have 30 seconds to get your answer in. Uh, if this is your first time playing, make sure you're not looking at the timer on my screen, not the timer on YouTube. Pay attention to the timer on your phone because that's the timer that actually dictates when your answer needs to be in by. Uh, thank you, Katie, Misha, and Christopher, and Olivia for the donations. We appreciate you. All right, here we go. First question, what is the name of your trivia host tonight? Me, right here, sitting in front of you talking to you. What is my name? Is it Jerry, George, Kramer, or Ali? What is the name of your trivia host tonight? Jerry, George, Elaine. Kramer, or Ali? It is not Elaine. Uh, it could be. I like Elaine. I do. I almost, I'll be honest, I almost put Newman as an option. But if people would have put Newman as a joke, I think I would have been hurt. Yeah, I'm, I'm a very sensitive person, guys. Um, that's why I struggle to even do these online events. You got 99.9% .9 of you are incredible. You give great feedback. But every now and then there's one person who's just a jerk to be a jerk. And I'm a real person and it hurts. Um, but you guys were nice tonight. Any of these answers would have made me feel fine. But 87% of you, 156 people. So congrats, guys. 156 of you put the correct answer. Not worth any points, but at least we know you're paying attention. My name is Ali. Cheers. That's a social. This is completely optional. We'll do this throughout the night. Anytime you guys answer very well. I will call a social or a sociable or a kule maluna, a kole maluna, as they say in Hawaii. We've learned from our friends who are playing from Hawaii. Um, that's just my opportunity to say thank you and congratulations. At a job well done. You guys answered so well. So we'll do it. Even though it's not worth points, it's worth a drink. Cheers. 
Hakuna Matata, yeah. Hakuna Matata. Nope. Means no worries. All right, here we go. Now they will start counting for points. Some of these easy, some of these tough. All of the multiple choice are worth a maximum of 100 points. A uh, maximum of 100 points, depending on when you submit your answer. Here we go. Question two. What snack did Ross and Rachel share at the end of the pilot episode, very first episode of the series, Ross and Rachel shared a snack. What was it? Quick opportunity to tell you the pictures and the gifts typically are not related. Um, so they're just there for fun. Don't read into the pictures or the gifts. What snack did Ross and Rachel share? Was it a bag of chips, a slice of pizza, an Oreo cookie, or a scone? Kevin Coke. Welcome, my man. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. How you doing? Uh, ben, my wife is going to contact you about doing trivia at St. Louis. Yeah, Ben, we'll do that for you. Tell your wife to reach out. I would gladly do that for y'all. We'll make it happen. I almost asked uh, about Ross uh, crushing the scone after Emily, the whole debacle with Emily, but I did not ask about that tonight, so I enjoy all of your scone answers. Uh, a lot of you said an Oreo. 25 people said a slice of pizza. 21 said a bag of chips. 26 said a scone. So a lot of you spread those answers, but the majority of you were correct. You knew that the Oreo, they split it, shared it at the end of the pilot episode. Good job. We'll look at the standings after every five questions, so you'll see exactly where you're at, no matter what place you're in. So don't you worry. Here we go. Question number three. In the episode, the one with the resolutions, the New Year's uh, resolutions episode, what was Monica's New Year's resolution? What was Monica's New Year's resolution to worry less, learn to play guitar, stop gossiping, or take more pictures of the friends. Christy Ann, yes, I'm pumped too. Thank you so much for joining us again. I hope you enjoyed. I tried to add a decent amount of Canada-related trivia questions tonight at our general knowledge trivia. Yes, Ben, this is a good episode. I really like this episode. All right, let's see what you thought. These are all resolutions that um, the individuals had in the group. Only one of them is Monica's, though. 37 of you said worry less. 11 people learn to play guitar. Uh, 25 people stop gossiping. That was Rachel. Guitar was um, Joey, I believe. The correct answer here, as 62% of you knew, is take more pictures of the friends. Take more pictures of the friends. 120 people got it right. So good job. Again, 120 of you got it right, but you earned different points amount based on how quickly you answered, so make sure you're clicking it as soon as you're sure of the answer. Here we go, question four. What was the name of the cousin who invited Ross to her wedding, but not Monica? They had a cousin, it's both of their cousin. Uh, the cousin only invited Ross, not Monica, to her wedding. What was her name? Is it Cassie, Franny, Bonnie, or Sandy? Uh, Lindsay, my sister, has been very little help. Uh, Julie, yes, I realize that when I start writing trivia. Sometimes it's easy for me, and sometimes I realize I don't know anything specific. Even if I've watched an entire show from start to finish, I start to write trivia, and I realize I don't know anything about it. Yeah, I don't watch either. Yeah. Because we just watch it. Let's see. I need to play more trivia. I don't ever play trivia. I just host trivia. All right. Question number four. What was the name of the cousin who invited Ross to her wedding but not Monica? Oh, you did not struggle with this one. Uh, some of you said Cassie. That is the name of one of their cousins. Bonnie, Sandy, not many people. The correct answer here is Franny. Franny invited Ross but not Monica. Congratulations. Question number four. That's close enough for a social. Cheers, guys. There's a lot of people, so I lower our social standards here. <laughs> Cheers. All right, question five. We'll take a look at the standings. That was adorable after this one. Um, for those of you who know our trivia, this is our dog, Taco. Um, the blanket was all balled up on the chair, and he just knocked it off with his head, and then he looked like, what just happened? What did I do? Uh, and it was adorable. I wish you all could have seen it. All right, anyway, sorry. Welcome to Trivia with Bega Tricks, guys. <laughs> Every night's a different story. Question five, what happened that caused Ross to rush Marcel to the emergency room? If this gift doesn't tug at your heartstrings, get out of here. 
Why did Ross Russ, rush Marcel to the emergency room? He ate Rachel's lotion. He swallowed a ring. He swallowed a Scrabble tile. He swallowed the apartment key. Taco Tuesday is correct. He has a taco outfit. We posted a picture of him wearing his taco outfit. Oh, my God. He is just looking at me with big old puppy dog eyes. Oh, my gosh. Hello. What a cute. You guys have a bunch of cute animals out there, too. I love seeing pictures of your dogs, your cats, your birds, whatever you got at home. Send us pictures. If you're not a member of the Bag of Tricks online community, please join. It's just for fun. Um, if you're out there and you're having a good time, you're commenting, you're talking with other individuals here in the chat box, we can continue the conversation on Facebook, the Bag of Tricks online community. Um, it's just for fun. We keep it lighthearted. We share stuff uh, about these events and what's going on in our lives, including our pets. So please join us. Uh, those of you that have, we really enjoy uh, what you guys post. All right, here we go. The correct answer is uh, social worthy. 87% of you said he swallowed a Scrabble tile and you were correct. Cheers. Congrats. All right. It's the first time tonight. We'll look at the standings. If you've never played with us before, all you need to know is that everybody's standings will uh, show up on the screen at some point. Oh, I just missed it again. He just knocked the blanket off again. Um, first, second, and third place will stay atop the screen. Everybody else is going to rotate through. So if you're not in first, second, or third, your, sh your team name will show up. You just need to be watching. So here we go. Standings as they are after the first four questions that count for points. The first one was just a practice question. In first, the Quizards, Waverly Place. In second, Mr. Heckles. And in third, seven, seven, seven. Uh, everybody else is rotating through. So again, you'll see your team names. Just watch down along the bottom. You'll see where you're at. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Miss Chenandler Bong. Uh, they know. They don't know that we know they know. Uh, I see more Chenandler's Bong. Ch Chandler's Nubbin. First name crap, last name bag. I love that. The Holiday Armadillo, Regina Falange, AMK. Can we be any more quarantined? Uh, hermaphrodite cheerleaders, cheerleaders from Long Island. Nobody touches Joey's food. You guys are killing the team name tonight. Uh, Alan Buford the third, Lindsay and Garrett, the one with the something. I love it. Uh, Ashley, welcome back. All you want is a dinkle. Uh, Princess Consuela banana, ha banana Hammock. We have a few Princess Consuela Banana Hammocks tonight. So you will know your own score. It'll say on your phone. Uh, the one where Ross dated Julie. Someone ate Monica. I brought the cups. Helena hand baskets. Uh, the one with the nap partners. You guys, you're killing these team names tonight. Uh, ben Sasser. You're, that's okay. We still love you. Uh, there are seven. <laughs> there are seven? <laughs> One, two, three, two, four, five, six, seven, seven. Viva Las Gagas, losing my liver. The one with live dog, the one with pickle juice, the chicken, the duck. Got nothing on taco. I love it. Uh, thank God for two livers. Dilly dilly. Moo point. Yeah, it's a moo point. All right. That's it. We're going to roll on to the second set of multiple choice questions. Here we go. Question number six. Like I said, some of these simple, some of these tough. We'll see if you know this one. What college did both Ross and Chandler attend? What college did Ross and Chandler attend? Is it Queens University, Columbia, Boston University, or NYU? It's like a cow's opinion. A moo point. Yeah, John Jay, welcome to my life. Uh, I love uh, when people, you know, write team names that have to do with the show, but sometimes there are a whole bunch of the same one. Doesn't mean we don't love them all. Uh, but there's always a lot of Princess Consuela, a lot of uh, Regina Falange, a lot of Phoebe team names. I'll be honest, a lot of smelly cats. Uh, people certainly connect with Phoebe. It's a moo point. Have I been living with them too long or did that actually make sense? You guys are great. All right, let's see what you thought. So not super sure on this one. 28 people said Queens University. Uh, that's where Seinf Jerry Seinfeld went in his show. 
Um, 75 people said Columbia. 81 people said NYU. One of you were correct. Correct answer was Columbia. Columbia. Good job, the 75 of you that knew that. All right, things are going to start separating here. I think some of these questions are tough, even in the multiple choice round. So let's see how you do with this one. Question seven. What is the name of the individual that Barry cheated on Rachel with? I hate ending sentences with prepositions. But sometimes I'm just in a rush to get this done for y'all. Who did Barry... Who was... What is the name of the person that Barry cheated with on Rachel? <laughs> I'm working. I don't know. Yeah, it's fine. It's not the worst thing in the world. Is it Linda, Cheryl, Cindy, or Mindy? Stephanie Summertop? Yeah. Like I mentioned, I think that overall tonight is a tough round of Friends trivia from start to finish. Um, when we did this before, I know a lot of you were there, literally 80 to 90% of the people hardly missed a question. Uh, so I absolutely amped it up tonight. That college one stumped you. Yes, Friends kills you every time, Julie. That's okay, as long as you have fun. Aloha, Mary Beth from Hawaii. So we have somebody on with us tonight from Hawaii. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we do have a few states we're still looking for uh, to check off our lists. I know Wyoming, Idaho, uh, Maine are a few of them. But Hawaii has been checked off for a while now Alaska, because... Alaska, Delaware. Alaska. Mississippi, Nevada. Nevada Delaware. Yeah, Nevada me. seems like some, we've had people, but... Uh, you guys did not struggle. In fact, you are going to encourage a drink right now because this is a social. 97% of you knew that Mindy was wow. the name of the individual. Uh, and Rachel still finds the courage to sing Copacabana. Was it? Um, so cheers, everybody. That's a social. And please, again, never feel like you have to cheers with us. You can cheers with water or soda or whatever you're eating. Yes, we, I have tea. Yeah, Gina's drinking tea. We do it just to celebrate how well you guys do on these questions. All right. Question number eight. Yeah, I think this is a tough one. Let's see what you think. What is the name of Carol's father? What is the name of Carol's father? father is his name george frank thomas or sam <sighs> reading those out loud in a row i realized it said frank thomas which made me think of frank thomas Nothing important to do with that statement, just Frank Thomas. All right. Not a runaway answer here. 44% of you, 84 people said George, 48 people said Frank, 29 people Thomas, 31 people said Sam. So every one of these got a decent amount of answers. Uh, but the majority of you did know it is George. That was a hard one. Yes, that is a hard one. But... See what I mean? I know if you're out there and you missed this, you're saying, damn it, Ali, that was tough. But realize that of uh, all of the people playing, 44% of the people still got that correct. 44% of the people out there knew George Willick is the name of Carol's father. Um, so, yes, some of these will be very tough, um, especially if you've only watched the season once or maybe even twice. There are some individuals out there that I'm sure have watched it too many times to count. Question number nine. According to Monica, which of their aunts, so Monica and Ross's aunts, does Cousin Cassie look like? This is Cousin Cassie in the gift, um, so it's not going to help you specifically, but you can look at her. Denise Richards in slow motion, if I had hair like that. Ugh, but I don't. Which aunt, aunt, does Cousin Cassie look like? Is it Aunt Muriel, Aunt Iris, Aunt Merlin, or Aunt Lillian? Why does it look like she's in slow motion every time she walks into the room? Uh, ben, you would have written in Mr. Willick. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Stephanie. I appreciate that. Oh, Jacqueline. Yes, the Frank Thomas shout out. Uh, where? What's it look like in the comments? Let us know. I don't usually ask for something this specific in terms of participation. And trust me, I'm not coming from either side here. What's it look like in the comments? Who are our Sox fans? Who are our Cubs fans? Uh, 
Any Sox fans, any Cubs fans? If you're a different fan, that's great too, but let us know. I'd like to hear. Mets. <laughs> yeah, Mets, first one. That makes sense. Uh, Sox, Cubs, Cubs, Cardinals, Sox, Brewers. Okay. Oh, come on. I have opened Pandora's box. Um, let's see what you guys thought here. 58 wow, of you thought Aunt you Muriel. Invited. 89 of you thought Aunt Marilyn. So you knew that it started with an M. Everybody knew that it started with an M. Thank you, Michael, for posting in the online community this adorable dog. Ozzy didn't like the question. All right. Uh, the correct answer was Aunt Marilyn. Marilyn, 89 of you knew it. So again, we're not having runaway answers of 90% of you getting it right, but we're still having a majority of you answer all of these right. We haven't had one yet that has fooled you guys into not answering correctly as a majority. Uh, so here we go, question 10. What was the name of Rachel's junior high boyfriend that her sister Amy made out with? Welcome to really hard question territory. Uh, I wrote this one just because I heard it while I was watching the episode. What was the name of Rachel's junior high boyfriend that her sister Amy made out with? Was it Timmy, Will, Sammy, or Chip? Interesting. Question. Can anyone cite an episode in which they say which college they went to because I'm 99% sure they never said it? Um, we know that Ross got his PhD from Columbia. Um, it's but not undergrad. Yeah, but it's know? never said that he went to a different one. Um, so I get that there's some wiggle room there. Um, but of the four answers that we listed, I'm with you. I, I get what you're saying. But of the four answers that we listed, Columbia would have been the right answer. Um, we have no reason to believe that they went to any of the other three. And we know for a fact um, that Ross went to Columbia. Um, so we know that. And we would assume between those four answers that Columbia would be correct. Um, so, yeah, you're probably right. It's probably not said. They didn't say, hey, we just got back from Columbia. Um, but of those four, Columbia was right. All right, what was the name of Rachel's high school, uh, junior high boyfriend, sorry, uh, that her sister made out with? 43% of you said Timmy. So again, a lesser percentage, but still a majority said Timmy. 31% of you said Chip. I think Rachel dated Chip uh, or, or, or saw Chip in high school. The correct answer is Timmy. Timmy. Um, I don't like any of Rachel's sisters on the show. I think that those characters annoy me maybe more, especially uh, Christina Applegate. Uh, it just makes my blood boil when she's on the show. I love her as an actress, but her character. All right, question 11. This is the final multiple choice question. This is the final multiple choice question. Everything after this, you have to actually supply your own answers. So I'm not going to be offering anything up in the term, uh, in terms of four multiple choice answers. After this, things are going to be a little different, and I'll explain how that works. But first, we're going to do this question. We're going all the way back, I believe, to the first season. In what city does Rachel's family go skiing every year for Thanksgiving? She's hoping to join them. She gets an advance from her job at Central Perk. She has a ticket. You can see in the picture here, but she does not get to go. What city does Rachel's family go skiing every year for Thanksgiving? Is it Denver, Vail, Aspen, or Boulder? Her sisters are terrible people. Shoop, Thank you. Shoop, shoop. Thank yes. you for agreeing. Shoop. Prom date was Chip. Thank you. Thank you, Jacqueline and Charles. Uh, ben, yes, some of these did come from the first season. Um, I've watched all of it, but yes, quite a few of these came from the first season. Honestly, Rachel was kind of terrible. Uh, Sarah, I will uh, edit your comment there. She was terrible throughout the whole thing. Most of the people on the show were. Um, yeah, not a lot of redeeming qualities overall. Uh, somebody, Kim, uh, G, if you're out there, thank you for the article earlier, um, that just highlights how, especially the men on this show were just horrible, just horrible I people. Yeah. yeah, they were just bad. Yeah. Like Seinfeld, Seinfeld was yeah. bad too. Um, and I don't, I don't like the cop out of like, oh, well it was funny then and not now. 
I mean, fine. It's still funny. It's just not good. Like, a lot of the things they say were just not nice, not good. Not good people. But we don't laugh at regular people. We laugh at these people. Um, you guys did very well on this. I thought this was kind of a random, random, random question, and you guys nailed it. 74% of you said Vail, Colorado. That's where she was hoping to go. She got her ticket, but she didn't actually go uh, for... Uh, skiing with her family. Good job. Some of you said Aspen, Boulder, Denver, not many people. So good job. Here we go. We'll see the standings one more time and then we will move on to the next set of questions. I will explain how that works before we do. All right. Geology rocks. I love that name. In first place, LAL in second, Sonia in third, Chandler's Nubbin in fourth. Uh, everybody else is rotating through. So do watch. You will see your team name wherever it is at. Let me flip over the comments. I don't usually get to look at this. Ross was the worst. Uh, nothing is as bad as how I met your mother. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess at the end of the day, you just have to accept that people on a lot of these sitcoms are not good people. Um, they're meant to make us laugh. Yeah, um, true. you know, and it's kind of a lowest common denominator thing. That's how it succeeds. Uh, the jokes that they make typically are lowest common denominator jokes, just silly things that everybody can laugh at, even if you don't agree or, or think is great. Um, Team Ross is a creep for a reason. I am the worst person with points. <laughs> uh, yes. I'm going to let this keep going through. Sarah, they make us think too, apparently. Yes, yes, yes. There are some things. I mean, when we watch these shows, we talk about like, you know, quote unquote, didn't age well. There are plenty of things from friends. But one of the things that jumped out to me the other day, we love new girl gina and i yeah. and one of the things we always say about friends is um oh wow that's weird that sarah k really weird. you typed that before i said it um one of the weird things about new girl is we always watch friends and we say you know the monica fat jokes wouldn't fly anymore uh -huh. you know they they have her dressed up in a fat suit but they did the same thing with schmidt yeah um and you know i don't think they made fun of him as much as they did with monica but it was the same thing 20 years later, mm -hmm. um, and people That's still true. laughed. And I, I still don't love it, but it's weird that it's, it's not completely changed, but absolutely. Uh, it's always sunny. Ben, that's a whole different category. It's always sunny, it's always sunny is a completely different show, and I love it. Another level. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do Always Sunny trivia soon. All right, so I'm going to answer some questions I see popping up because how this is going to work, so let me change this. Uh, how this is going to work, guys, the following... 20 questions are no longer multiple choice. You have to supply your own answer. Somebody says to spelling count, not entirely, but if you spell correctly, the computer will automatically give you points. If you spell wrong, if you don't spell right, you're relying on me, your host, Ali, who's three scotches in, to find your answer and mark it correct. So I'm only saying that half in jest, but half to make you realize that it will do you well to take your time and try to spell everything correctly if you spell the answer right the computer automatically marks it wrong uh right um if you spell it wrong i can still assign you points but if i don't see your answer or if it's too misspelled you may not get points um that's pretty much it everything else about this there's no more multiple choice answers the one other thing that i've changed to make it easier for you is i've made it now so that you either earn the points or you don't so no longer do you have to worry about submitting your answers as quickly as possible because as these questions come out, the points are going to increase, but you will always earn either full points or no points. And I'm telling you that so that you don't have to worry about typing super quickly. You just have to get your answer in before the timer hits zero. All right, I hope that makes sense to you all. You don't have to get your answer in instantly. You're not going to earn any more points than anybody else if you're both correct. You just want to get your answer in before the timer hits zero. If this is your first time playing, um, or even if this is not your first time but you haven't played in a while, my suggestion always is to get your answer in before the timer hits five seconds. This is the internet. It doesn't always work perfectly for everyone. Your connection may be slower than somebody else's. If you submit your answer with at least five seconds left, you have the best chance of your answer actually being recorded. Um, if your answer doesn't come in to me, there's nothing I can do. Um, I do apologize, but that is the platform we're working with. We're doing our best. Uh, I would love to be doing this at the bar where I get all of your answer sheets, and I know you get points, but this is the internet. It's not always completely reliable. So take my advice, please, and submit your answers with at least five seconds left. But no matter what, you earn full points if you're right. So here we go. 
Some of these questions will be simple. Some of them are easy. Some of them, uh, the answers will be numbers. If the answer is a number, you can only type in numbers. Don't try to spell anything. And I believe that is the case with this first question coming up right here. You cannot type in any letters. You're just typing in the answer in the form of a number. How many sisters does Joey have? Just give me the number. You don't have to name them. You don't have to do any of that. How many sisters does Joey have? Ben, FYI, I used the same trivia on Sunday for one I had to pay for. They didn't even host? So you just answered the questions online? I want to hear more about this, Ben. Um, maybe not right now, but if we're not, I don't know. Are Ben and I friends on Facebook yet? If we're not, Ben, I'm going to add you. So hopefully like quiz. hopefully you accept me. Hopefully okay. we can be friends. Hopefully you accept me. Yeah. Literally just answered the questions. It was bad. Yikes. Like I said, I'm hosting every single night of the week for you guys, so I haven't had the opportunity to play anybody else's trivia. I haven't seen how other companies are doing it. I know other companies are doing trivia, um, but I don't know how they're doing it. So I, I do appreciate hearing feedback and seeing. Um, let's see. We had a lot of different answers come in, but a lot of you, a hundred of you, knew that he has seven sisters. Joey has seven sisters in his Italian family. Joey and seven sisters. All right. Follow-up question. I like to do this sometimes. I usually try to change the questions all around, make them random. Oh, Ben, we are friends. He just sent me a message. I'm so happy to see that. Honestly, you can see me on screen. You know I'm not lying. All right. Uh, this is a follow-up question. It's about Joey's sisters. This is not a number. You have to type in a name. I just need a first name. What was the name of Joey's sister that punched Chandler? What was the name of Joey's sister that punched Chandler? You have 30 seconds. Lisa, you keep getting pop-ups. Do you feel like you'd be... Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. Uh, 15, do the points still go down? It looks like they are. Um, they should not be going down. Let me double check now that you said something, Christiane. I can see it right now. 150 points on the screen is not changing. So they're not going down. They are not going down. They are staying. Let me double check on my phone. Online.vegostricks.com slash show. No, 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 <laughs> And do they have sweet green screens like Ali? Oh, yeah, guys, I have so much fun with my green screen. Green screen it's a little ridiculous. Um, honestly, nobody should have as much fun with the green screen as I do. And it's, it is, uh, we finally did get like an actual sheet a green sheet a green screen um but for the longest time it's just been green poster board that we bought at the dollar store i spent like 30 dollars on green poster board and it worked perfectly all right i'm looking at your answers i'm just making sure nobody spelled it wrong but deserves the answer I'm just going to throw the answers up on the screen so you guys can appreciate while I'm grading them. So this is what I see. What you see on, on the YouTube stream right now, this is what comes across to me. And I have to go through and check the spellings. But overall, honestly, you guys didn't spell anything wrong. You just gave me a whole bunch of different guesses. Uh, I see Mary Angela's, Mary Teresa's, Gina. Uh, Mary, oh, Taco just yelped. Uh, Mary Therese. I like the one in there. I want to find it again. Somebody guessed that her name was Punchinella. Um, but her name was Cookie. Cookie was the name of Joey's sister that punched Chandler. He kissed um, Mary Angela, I believe. But now I'm seeing so many names. Yeah, Mary Angela sounds right. Um, but Cookie is the one that punched him. Thank you, Paige, for the donation. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, Paige. All right, here we go. Question 14. To what city did Pete take Monica on their first date this is pete what city did he take monica to on their first date jessica at least i've had a few drinks there go punchinella yes i love it is that jessica who's doing the pause trivia yes. with us yeah. yes i didn't want to be wrong jessica thank you for being here tonight um we're gonna get i'll, I'll shoot you a message soon but we guys if you have not checked out online we are doing a fundraiser for pause chicago on saturday an awesome night of general knowledge trivia. 
Um, I, I know many of you out there have pets, and even if you don't, you care about pets. Um, so please do join us. That one's going to be free to play. We'll just be accepting donations directly to PAWS. Um, and we'll have prizes for that. Elmhurst Brewing Company has sponsored it. So please do join us. Jessica's done a lot to set that up, and John um, have done a lot to make that a very good event. Ooh. Yeah, Taco has the hiccups right now, in case anybody was wondering. Nobody asked, but it does. Um, the correct answer is Rome. Rome. I saw some Milan, Las Vegas, Chicago, Atlantic City, Florence. Um, yes, he flew them, flew them to Rome. Good job. Question 15. When Ross was playing the game where you have to name all 50 states from memory, Joey accuses him of making up which state. So Ross names the state and Joey says, now you're just making them up. What was the state that Ross named Joey accused him of making up? Thank you, Charles, for realizing that I do that. <laughs> I was just about to talk about how you, um, Zoe Deschanel was going to be. Yeah, if you earlier. yeah if you played general knowledge trivia with us earlier, our mini round of actors and actresses, uh, I originally had Zoe Deschanel, Deschanel as an answer, and I said, "Shit, nobody's going to spell that right." Uh, so I took her out. And I changed it yeah, to Amy Adams. I changed it from Zoe Deschanel to Amy Adams, mm -hmm. uh, and you guys did much better. Shameless plug. We have awesome prizes just for donating. Yeah, Jessica and uh, the event we're doing on Saturday, they have raffle prizes. You'll be able to do, donate ahead of time and be eligible to win those raffle prizes. Again, all of that information is on our Facebook page under the events tab. So please check it out, guys. We're, do, we're doing our best to give you plenty of things to do right now. So please support the events where we're also raising money for great causes. And pauses. And pauses. Great pauses, Gina said. That was good. That's why Amy Adams is getting all Zoe Deschanel's roles. <laughs> <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever seen the picture of uh, Zoe Deschanel like all done up without glasses on? And she looks like an entirely different person. And the caption, it's not a meme, but it's just kind of a photo that people have shared that says, I now understand why people didn't realize Clark Kent was Superman. Oh, because yeah. how different, just taking your glasses off and doing your hair, yeah, she sure. looks like a different person. It's insane. She has such a specific look. Have you ever seen her next to a photo of Katy Perry? Oh, yeah. They're like twins. Like yeah. I didn't realize for the longest time she was sisters with Bones. Emily, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the correct answer here is Utah. Utah. Ross says Utah. Joey said, ah, oh, now you're just making them up. Uh, so good job. Those of you that said Utah. Question. Let's look at the standings. We're at 15, so we'll get back on track here. Let's see where we're at. 150 points for each of these questions right now. Geology Rocks is still in first, currently LAL there, but now the three basketeers up into third. I saw Way No Way in fourth. Q Taco Cam. Kevin Coke, I love you so much. I can't even say it. Uh, let's watch Taco, and I will let this rotate through. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Taco peaced out. He is cuddling on Gina's lap now. Yeah. <laughs> Kristen Heedy, Clove Flow. Trolling for snacks. Taco, Taco or Ali? Both. Both. I bet he just went potty. That was definitely... Joe awesome. Flaherty, a sponsor specifically for Taco Cam. I can get behind that. Anybody yeah, out there... Tell you're in the sports industry. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> we do need a, spo a sponsor just we for do. the Taco Cam. We need Cam. Primal sponsor. Yeah, Primal. Send us some free Primal food. Taco <laughs> only eats the best, this guy here. So Primal, sponsor our Taco Cam. <laughs> and send us some Primal food. All right, here we go. We're moving on. Question 16. Same format. 
Different question. I just need a first name. We all know their last name. What is the name, just a first name, of Rachel's mom? What is Rachel's mother's name? You can see her here. The character, not the actress. What is the name of Rachel's mother? Circuit City. <laughs> uh, if anybody has any old Circuit City inventory, wants to give me a webcam or something, we can do two taco cams, different angles. Taco cam up close. Um, Taco did not go to the potty. Taco was trolling for snacks. Once we finish here, I'm going to devour some mac and cheese. Uh, Lisa, I will share that recipe for the mac and cheese that I made. We split it into two different batches. Guys, in case you're watching, you're wondering what's going on. I'm trying to talk, but I'm also uh, grading your answers. So I'm trying to do two things here. Um, but Lisa, I do have the, the recipe for that mac and cheese. We split it into two batches. One of them, pretty traditional mac and cheese. The other one, we mixed with some leftover chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. Um, quite spicy. Uh, the other one, just some cracker crumbs on top, some salt and pepper. Should have put some of that truffle salt we had. Oh, well, well maybe next time. Next time. I guess we'll just have to make more mac and cheese. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Who else has put on that quarantine 15? <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right. A couple people gave me her first and last name. So this is how the system works. I only had her first name down as the right answer. So if you gave me the first and last name, it would mark you wrong. Um, that's why I take the time to look through here because obviously if you put her first and last name, you know it. You just gave me too much. So Sandra, Sandra, the correct answer. Sandra Green, if you put Sandra Green, you got points. If you put Sandra, you got points. Good job. Here we go, question 17. In the episode... The one where the stripper cries. What game show does Joey appear on as a contestant? What is the name of the game show Joey appears on as a contestant in the episode, The One Where the Stripper Cries? Spicy mac and cheese recipe, please. Yes, Laura, I will post that in our Bagatrix online yeah, community. Becoming a recipe group. Yeah, it is becoming a recipe group. You guys share a bunch of great stuff. Uh, I will post that in there maybe later tonight once we finish this. It's not tough. Uh, I actually, it was more of a mac and cheese with what we had at home. Um, so you probably have most of what I used. It's not, not a lot of ingredients. I kept it pretty simple. This is a very good episode, Jen. Yes, yes, yes. Christy Ann, there's a Chandler Thanksgiving question coming up. So it might be good that you know that. Um, not that that's the question. Uh, so there's a specific word I'm looking for in this answer. And if you wrote this word at all, uh, I'm going to give you points. Um, so I'm marking a bunch of people correct here because some of you added some things, um, but what I'm looking for is one specific word. So hang tight for one second. Oh no, our Amazon assistant stopped playing music. I call it our Amazon assistant because if I say the A word, anybody out there with the A word, it'll start listening to me. So if I wanted to be a real jerk right now, I could just tell uh, to do something and it would happen in all of your houses. Again, I promise I am multitasking. A lot of you wrote this in very different ways. Um, so I am currently clicking, 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 marking these correct. I've said this so many times, but what I'm doing right now is the same thing that your trivia host does at the bar. When you hang out at the restaurant or the bar, uh, you turn in your answer sheets and then you go get drinks or you eat some food or you hang out with your friends. Um, unfortunately, I am just stuck right here in front of you doing it while my camera stares. Uh, so I know it's probably kind of boring, but I want to make sure everybody gets points. The correct answer here is pyramid. Pyramid. That is the word I was referencing. Uh, $100,000 pyramid, $24,000 pyramid. I'm not looking for something specific. I was just looking for pyramid. It was not bamboozled. Um, Joey was trying out to be the host of Bamboozled. It wasn't Jeopardy, Wheel of Fortune, Password, Family Feud, uh, Buzzwords. It was Pyramid. So Pyramid is the word I was looking for. Here we go. Question 18. Speaking of Joey. Um, Joey, my favorite character on the show, I think. I love Joey. Um, I love many things about all the different characters, but I think Joey's my favorite. Who won the um, poll, actually? Uh, we need to check. I think Chandler won the poll online. What TV show did Joey watch in London that made him homesick? He was there in London. This gif is actually from the scene. 
What show did Joey watch in London that made him homesick? What TV show? Yeah, I think I did that poll in the Facebook event earlier uh, to see who you guys thought is the best friends and I, the best friend, and I think Chandler won. No? Oh, I'm just saying that. Not... Oh, did you? Are you looking at it? Are you pulling it up? Yeah. You've just been bamboozled. Chandler. I love this game. Uh, just a vanilla milkshake. Joe, thank you for saying the word milkshake. Now I want a milkshake. Uh, uh, Chris, that's okay. As long as you put pyramid. As long as you put pyramid, you're good. Ooh, what is your favorite episode? That's a good question, Ooh, Ben. I, I, I can uh, Stephanie Curtis, if you put an exclamation point, that's okay. That's why I check your answers, because an exclamation point should not discount you from getting points. I like your enthusiasm. Uh, all right. Answers on the screen. So this is an example of you guys doing very well, spelling everything right. The correct answer is cheers. Good job. 72 of you said cheers. You got it right. Um, some good guesses. Golden Girls, Baywatch, Days of Our Lives, Beverly Hillbilly. Somebody put New Girl just to be fun there. Um, Joni loves Chachi, Brady Bunch. Uh, correct answer was cheers. Good job. Moving on. Question 19. I'm just looking for the name of a character on the show. A name of an individual, just a first name, okay? Just a first name. To whom was Ross referring to when he said, you can see the moonlight bouncing off her head? Who was Ross talking about when he said, you can see the moonlight bouncing off her head? What is the name of that character? Oh, yeah, that trivia episode, Melissa. We, oh, this might be the first time I've ever hosted French trivia. I didn't include one of those questions. We always ask about Althea and how many towels Monica has, how many different categories, um, Transponster, Miss Chenandler Bong. None of those are questions tonight. Just a heads up. Um, I almost always use questions from that. I don't think I did tonight. Paste pants, yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, once again, somebody got it. a lot of trivia names come from that episode. Yeah, I agree. Miss Chenandler Bong, very, oh, very popular one. Yeah, Trans and Transponsters, yeah. All right, once again, you guys spelled well. Those of you who knew it, Bonnie! Bonnie! Uh, what's the actress's name? Chris, ben Stiller's wife, right? Taylor. Yeah, Christine Taylor? Yeah. Yeah. She was, she was Marsha in the new Brady Bunch? Yeah. Wait, they're separated? Hang on, everybody. Really? Separated or divorced. Oh. Um, that's really sad. I don't know if they got officially divorced. She was in Zoolander too, right? With mm -hmm. him? Yeah. yeah. Guys, you just witnessed in real time what happens every single day in my life. If it comes to pop culture or celebrities or anything like that, on the camera here with you guys, I tend to seem very well informed. But every single thing I know about pop culture comes from Gina. Um, she is the, the, the best source of that information like this. Uh, and if she doesn't know right away, she looks it up. Um, they appear to reconcile in 2019, says Wikipedia. Oh, Wiki says they Jerry reconciled Slap. in 2019. I'll do some deeper digging. <laughs> uh, but yeah, pop culture, not my thing. I, I barely know who's married to who. Uh, so good job. Question 20. I'm looking for a number. So no commas, no decimals or anything. I just want a number amount in dollars. Don't try to put a dollar sign. It won't let you. After receiving money from mistakes the bank made and because she found a thumb in her soda can, Phoebe gave how much money? Just give me in numbers. How much money in dollars did Phoebe give to Chandler to quit smoking? How many dollars? Just give me a number. Did Phoebe give to Chandler to quit smoking uh yeah that's the one place i do know more than you is like youtube stuff like, oh my i know nothing about yeah. the young whippersnappers yeah <laughs> i wish i didn't but i do know x y x you know, we're a good team type of bit. yeah guys i usually say this but please i know a lot of you are out there um we do these events once sometimes typically two times a night um and it would not be happening if gina wasn't behind the keyboard I get to have fun and just drink a bunch of scotch with you guys. She's the one answering your comments, your questions, and looking shit up for me the whole time. So please give her a big old thank you, a virtual high five, a shout out in the comments. Let her know how much you appreciate her because these events will not happen uh, if she's not here. Um, so we really appreciate her. I appreciate her. My goal is to be like the Monica to your Dax. Yeah, the Monica to your Dax or the Jamie to the uh, Joe Rogan. Yeah, exactly. Jamie, Jamie, put that up on the Aww. screen real quick. 
Uh, okay, somebody gave me the dollar amount with some decimal points. That's fine. That counts. It's still correct. All right, the correct answer here is $7,000. She got more money than that, but she gave $7,000 to Chandler to quit I smoking. I knew that. Oh, she's your lobster. Oh, she is my lobster. All right, here we go. Let's look at the standings. See if anything's changed. You got me that card one year. You're my lobster. Geology Rocks is still in first, but only by 20 points over LAL. Way no way now up into third. Everybody else rotating through. Yeah, there's a Miss Chandler Bong and a He's a Transponster right next to each other, both from that Embryos episode. Chicken the Duck, Quizards of Waverly Place. Uh, surprisingly relevant, the Wizards... Wait, was it Wizards? No. What's the show? Oh, The Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. That's the one that had... Um, what are their names? Cole and Dylan. Cole and Dylan, who oh, played... And they're under 30, I know that. <laughs> and they played uh, Ben, the older yes, Ben, yeah. on Friends. That's where I was going with it. The Wizards of Waverly Place, wrong show. Uh, but there was an, uh, a Disney show that had them. Number 19, typo for three girls. Benny equals Bonnie. That's okay. You still got points. Uh, Jancy, yeah, I'm sorry. That's why I tried to warn y'all. If you put a comma, it won't let you submit. It only lets you put dollars or, or, or numbers or a decimal. Oh, yes, uh, Ben. The kid, and he's in Big Daddy, too. He is the kid in also Big Daddy. the kid I've ever I wipe my own yeah, ass. I wipe my own ass. I've never watched Sweet Life, Sarah. Me either. Um, yeah, I've never watched it. Didn't age well. <laughs> I, believe I believe it. it. We've been going back. We just watched Brink the other day. Uh, we're enjoying Disney+. Plus. Yeah, I want to watch Alley Cat Strike. Um, you remember Alley Cat Strike? Yeah. Do you know who was... Uh, in that, that you may recognize now, Kaylee Cuoco. Oh. Yeah, young Kaylee Cuoco. I don't think Cuoco. I ever watched Alley Cat Strike. Oh, I love Brink. God, I bowled for like six years, and after Alley Cat Strike came out, I tried for so long to spin the bowling ball and push it down the lane. It doesn't work, guys. That was a falsity. They made that shit up. That is not how it works. Welcome back, Mad Dad. Haven't seen you in a little while. Thanks for being here. All right, here we go. Ten questions left. Question 21. Going up to 200 points per question. 200 if you're right. Nothing if you're wrong. They do not decrease uh, with time. So take your time. Spell it right. And you'll earn all the points if you are correct. Let's have some scotch. Cheers, everybody. Cheers to you. I have four. Four drinks. Empty tea, beverages. In water. Front of me. Tea, water, wine, and water. Love it. <laughs> They're all empty. I like the gif I saw earlier. Somebody, with everybody working from home, they took a coffee mug and poured wine into it and then cut the, like, tea label off of a tea bag and just taped it inside so when you're on Zoom, it looks like you're drinking tea, but it's just wine. Got to get inventive. All right, this is actually still worth 150. This is our final 150-point question. This is just one word. It's a name, uh, a fake name. When Rachel comes in for a massage, this is uh, the scene here. When Rachel comes in for a massage... Phoebe doesn't want her to know that she works there. She's giving Rachel a massage. What's your name? What fake name does Phoebe provide to Rachel? She tells her that her name is what? It's just one word. What is the fake name that Phoebe provides to Rachel? Motocrossed, Brink, uh, Eric Von Detten, Lisa. <laughs> yeah, the, the acting overall. Okay, I think she I believe that. I really enjoyed Brink. Let's play, bro. Brink is still, I mean, it doesn't hold up per se, but it's still entertaining. None of them do. <laughs> I want to go back and watch Under Wraps, which was like the yeah, first the Disney show. Yeah, with the mummy. Um, I like Alley Cat's Stride. You like Xenon, right? Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Make my heart go boom, boom. Uh, girl. Supernova. Girl. Uh, that's a different planet weird was another one I liked a lot of, I don't know if a lot of people we, we should eventually do just a Disney Channel trivia but we before we do that I can tell you just based on my personal preference we will do a Nickelodeon trivia um, because that was my shit not as many movies Good Burger is really the only big movie to come out of Nickelodeon TV um, I looked the other day there's not really another big movie that came out of Nickelodeon I TV I Snow Day remember Snow Day? yeah I know it wasn't as big as Good Burger but I love yeah. Um, but their shows, their shows were incredible. Yeah. Pete and Pete, all that, all the cartoons. Thank you, Ben. He, he, yeah, so many Nickelodeon shows. 
All right, I'm just checking all these answers. Uh, a lot of you had a lot of guesses, but the correct answer here, uh, what's your name? Oh, it's a totally normal Swedish name, uh, Ikea. <laughs> she says her name is Ikea. And eventually Rachel figures it out. But 29% of you, 47 people knew Ikea, the correct answer. Uh, a lot of you close. I see Inga, Ingrid, Olga, Setlana. Straight out of Shameless. Question 22. Chandler's first assignment as an advertising intern in season nine was a campaign for what type of product? His first assignment as an advertising intern was to create a campaign for what type of product? It's question 22. Uh, New York came full circle City. because we're talking about Hey Dude now and Christine Taylor was on that show. Ah, yes, she was. That's, I think that, mm, Nickelodeon had a lot of good theme songs. Pete and Pete was good, but that's a full song. But Hey Dude, Hey Dude. It's a little wild, a little strange. I could, I could listen to that one all day. Salute your shorts. Yes. Jungle to jungle. That's now we're just like spiraling through. Yeah, the guys, we'll spiral this away. This is again what we created the Bag of Tricks online trivia for, uh, online community for, to continue these conversations. Uh, hang on one second. I'm just double checking something. Remember face on my team? No. Hmm. Which one? You know. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna block that really quick. Sorry, guys. Hold tight. Dealing with some fun stuff. Uh... Okay, I was just double checking something. I'm going to accept a lot more answers than I originally was because I realize this is a little bit of a open-ended question. So give me one second. I got to click a lot of these answers. Um, but many of you knew this. Many of you knew this. So it's worth the wait. It means many of you are going to get points. A lot of you were just much more specific than I was looking for. Um, so this is the type of stuff that I don't, I've been, I've been doing this as a, a, a career for going on eight years now, but this is the type of thing that I don't expect because this online platform is very new. Um, so my whole theory with trivia is, you know, encouraging, making sure that people have as much fun as possible, but also being fair. Um, I'm not going to give points to every single person out there, but I want to be as fair as possible. So yes, it's taking a couple extra seconds here, um, but it's because I'm assigning points to those of you that deserve it. So one second, one second, one second. Gina, I think, is now watching some old Nickelodeon shows on her laptop. Yeah, she is! I thought she was going to yell. No, she is. Oh, you're hearing me now. That guy sounds cool. Right. This is the type of question I never would have put this. Uh, I would have made this a multiple choice question if I realized how many different ways you could answer this. Um, so again, guys, this is taking a long time, but bear with me. I do apologize. Uh, it's because I'm marking many, 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 many of you correct. 
Uh, somebody pointed out earlier, I try to make these questions ones that have one word answers or, or answers that are easy to spell. And this one is not one of those. Not that it's tough to spell, but there were many different ways you could describe what I'm talking about. We'll learn for the next one. Yeah, we will do friends again soon. There are a lot of people on here tonight and a lot of great people. So we like to do trivia nights that you guys show up for. All right. Um, so let me put it this way, everybody. If you're out there, if you do not see your answer on the screen, I'm still marking a few more correct. So when I click the button here in a second, um, if you do not see your answer on the screen, that means you got points. And I'm putting it that way because I literally had to mark about 100 answers correct. Um, the correct answer here, I, I just wrote sneakers. Um, I wasn't trying to be too specific, but many of you pointed out, um, you know, he did eventually end up talking about sneakers with shoe, uh, with with wheels on them, heelys, if you will, rollerblade shoes, rollerblade sneakers, sneakers with wheels, shoes with wheels, wheeled sneakers. There were a million ways that you answered this, and all of them were correct. So the only people who did not get points are those that you can see on the screen. I'll read them out loud just so you know: cigarettes, skateboard, jeans, tampon, popsicles, cheese. Penal implants. He talks about cheese, but not as his official first campaign um, as an intern. Diapers, toothpaste, underwear, feminine, paper, pantyhose, milk, tampons, cars, nicotine patch, and cat. Unless you wrote one of those things, you got points. Um, we are moving on. We've spent way too much time on this question. Question 23. No ifs, ands, or buts about this. You know it or you do not. What is the name of Mike's family dog? Oh. I know. What is the name of Mike's family dog that was a part of Phoebe and Mike's wedding? I believe Ross... Walked him down the aisle. He smelled great. Yeah. He, ooh. Well, I mean, give the dog a bath. I know. I don't like baseball. when they blame that on the dog. Right. It's not like they bathe themselves. Groomers are open. It wasn't coming to <laughs> Groomers are open now. Yes, they are open now. Including Central Paw. We should reach out to her expensive. We should. Again. If you guys are anywhere near um, Warrenville, Winfield... Naperville, Wheaton. Wheaton. Oh, anywhere. It's uh, in yeah, you may have noticed Taco did get groomed. I'll throw him up while I grade these. Taco did get groomed. Now that groomers are back open, our wonderful friend Abby owns Central Paw Grooming in Warrenville, Illinois. She does an incredible job. She's the only person that's ever groomed him since we've had him. And actually, his gotcha day is coming up. You mentioned it's this week. Yeah, eight. Yeah. Um, she is the only His person. His heart rate has slowed way down. Yeah, he is chill. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are looking for somewhere to go, um, she is incredible and very reasonable. Um, she does the best job. I'm sure other groomers out there are great. If you're not in the area, oh, yeah, cool. you know you'll find other places. But if you're looking for our recommendation, that is maybe we'll reach out to Abby see if she wants to sponsor the Taco Cam. Honestly, I'm just gonna put her as the sponsor of the Taco Cam until we find another one. So get ready to see that. No. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm putting up these answers while I mark the last few correct because I want you guys to see a few of these. Um, a lot of you got it right. I'll just mark it correct here. Chappie is the correct answer. We had six people who said taco. Thank you. Um, Chi Chi, not the correct answer. That was a different dog in the series. Um, but I like some of these down at the bottom. Somebody said no idea. But my cat just did a funny meow. <laughs> and then our Brooklyn Nine-Nine fan, that's not cheddar. That's some common bitch. Uh, congrats. No points for that. Again, guys, if you're playing with us, many of these answers I would give points to if we weren't actually playing for a prize. If we were just playing for fun, I would give points to fun answers. But I'm trying to be fair and only give points to the people who give the right answers. Um, so speaking about that, question 24, I'm looking for the name of a brand of beer. Marcel the monkey. We already talked about him once. Marcel once starred in a TV commercial for what brand of beer? What was the name of the beer that Marcel was in a commercial for? Uh, Jen, I won last friend's game and I was doing awful this time around. Uh, a real comeback story. We will accept Paul Rudd in Efron said <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> I don't have another gift prepared. I wish I did. Get on it. Julianne, you got points. Again, unless you saw your answer on the screen, 
Your phone won't tell you that I marked it correct, but... She says sorry, never mind. Okay. Oh, I didn't she see thought. that one. Uh, Julie, yeah. In her defense. Thank you. I, I wasn't trying to be mean. I just wanted to make sure she knew. You did get points. And thank you for the update. <laughs> All right. Guys, thanks for sticking with us. I've said a million times since we started this, if you um, just want to go do a trivia quiz online and, and you know have it done in 10 minutes, they're out there. Um, you can do that. If you want to have some interactive fun um, and support a local trivia company that's doing their best to put on interactive events for you, this is the place to be. Um, sometimes the events go longer than we may think. Uh, and this is one of those nights I, I am marking so many answers correct because you guys are answering well, just spelling stuff wrong. Um, and I'm having a very, very good time with you all. I hope you are too. Uh, the correct answer here is monkey shine, monkey shine beer. I accepted monkey shine in any form. One word, two words. Uh, if you very closely spelled monkey shine, you got points here. So good job. I, the only thing I didn't accept, I didn't accept monkey, just monkey beer or monkey mm -hmm. lager. I didn't take that. I'm looking for monkey sheer, <laughs> monkey shine. All right, here we go. We'll do one more, and then we'll look at the standings. Uh, what U.S. airport? So I'm just looking at the airport. What city or what was the name of the airport that Rachel was flying out of when she was leaving for Paris? So we're talking end of the series. This was a, a, a plot point because Ross drove all over looking for her. What airport was Rachel flying out of when she was leaving to go to Paris? Charles, thank you so much. Le Pouda Oh, yeah. Yeah, Le Pouda. Thank you, Angela, for the donation. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Ooh. Is it still on the taco game or is it me? Oh, it's still the taco game. What a guy. All right. Everybody's in. Not a lot of guesses here, so this is going to be a quick one to grade. And I think we are already good. Yes. A lot of you said Newark. A lot of you said JFK. A lot of you said LaGuardia. Um, JFK and LaGuardia, both fantastic guesses. Those are New York City airports. Um, but as Ross discovered, neither of those were correct. She was flying out of Newark. Newark going to Paris. Uh, he got there. He met her. Only thing is, uh, I don't want you to go. Don't go. All right. Let's look at the standings. This is the final time we'll look before the, the last run of questions here. So let's see where everybody's at. Geology Rocks and LAL still in first and second. Way No Way in third. Ben Sasser up into fourth. Uh, I saw Tequila Mockingbird in fifth. Let me check these comments while it's going. Uh, Carrie Allen, send us a message on Facebook. We'll, did you say that already? I said go to our website. Oh, yeah. Yeah, website or uh, – actually, the website's better. Gina's right. Hey. If you go to our website, all the info's on there. You can request an event online. We can send you all the details. And then message us if you have additional questions. Yeah, if you have Absolutely. additional questions, send us a message. Amber, thank you so much for the donation. We appreciate you too. Yeah, we are doing a lot of private events now. Uh, I host it and a lot of other, not a lot, um, but soon more and more hosts that we have here with Bag of Tricks will be available mm -hmm. to host private events via Zoom or um, YouTube Live like we're doing now. So please do reach out. Um, if you do reach out, please be patient. This is new um, and we do not have, you know, in a regular time when we host at the bars, we do 25 to 30 events a week because we have a long list of incredible hosts um, but with this new platform and this new technology, we're taking our time and making sure that we set up the system correctly before we just start taking your money to host events. We want to make sure we do a good job. Um, so because of all that, everything said, our, our booking list is a little packed right now. If you're looking to book an event, as Jessica saw, we have her coming up this weekend, um, but we're already booked out for the next two weekends if you're looking to do something, um, booking into the third or fourth weekend of May. Um, that is incredibly fortunate for us. We're very happy that you guys are so interested. Um, but that's why I'm mentioning now, please be patient. Um, we will do as many events as we can handle. I'm training more hosts every single day um, so that we can provide great events for you guys because we want to keep you entertained. We want you to do your part and stay at home. And while you're at home, we'll come to you and we'll do trivia uh, with a live host, Ben Sasser, with a live host uh, hosting the event, not just random trivia. Here we go. Question 26. Six. Question, 20, question 26. 
This is the individual in question. What is the name of the poem that Julio wrote? Monica believed was about her. I'm looking for the name of the poem. She read it. She thought it was about her. It's question 26. Give me the name of the poem. Uh, Lisa Kemper, totally worth it. We've done two and Ollie was awesome. Oh, thanks, Lisa. I had a great time. I'm excited. I hope we do another private event for just you and your family and your friends across the United States. That was a fun one. People from everywhere. Um, and obviously supporting the West Suburban Community Pantry. Uh, for those of you out there looking to raise money for good causes, we've raised... In two weeks of private events, we've raised over $13,000 um, doing these online trivia events. So you guys are more than gracious uh, with your donations, um, and we're happy to provide a platform to do that and have a good time. So please do reach out. I know we have events coming up again for PAUSE, for the Harbor. Um, somebody just reached out um, to the Parkinson's Foundation. We're going to do something for them. So a lot of fun. Uh, Bloomingdale Food Pantry, we're doing one in two weeks to raise money to feed families in the area. Uh, I'm going to be pretty strict on this one, so I'm grading these right now. A lot of you knew it, and those of you that were close, I'm sorry, you're not going to get points. Got to give me both words I'm looking for. <laughs> ben Sasser, thank you, baby Jesus. Uh, all right, one more that I have to write correct. The correct answer is the empty vase. The empty vase. I did not accept the empty vessel. I did not accept just vase or vessel or empty. Uh, again, this is how I do trivia. If nobody had said the empty vase, then maybe I would have taken the empty vessel or just vase. Um, but since a bunch of people said the empty vase, I have to give them the points. Uh, and they were the most correct. So good job, good job, good job, good job. Here we go, question 27. I mentioned that these questions are going to, to get tough, and this is where I think it really starts. According to his flashback, what year did Chandler's parents tell him they were getting divorced? You can only answer with numbers. What year did Chandler's parents tell him they were getting divorced? More turkey, Mr. Chandler. <laughs> This question, before you start yelling in the comments, yes, it is tough. It is meant to be. Because last time we did Friends, everybody got everything right. I just can't handle the gift. More turkey, Mr. Chandler? So this one, yeah, this is tough because the only way you know it is if you were paying attention. When the flashback starts, fade in, it says Thanksgiving this year. And the correct answer was... 1978. So I droned on about, on and on about how hard this would be, but 22 of you still knew it. Um, so before you guys start yelling that this was too hard, 22 people still knew it. So good job. Here we go. Question 28. Uh, this is another number question. It's a number. You can only answer with numbers. Joey once called to ask Phoebe for help in finding his pin number, which he had scratched into the corner of the ATM that they use. What was Joey's PIN number for his ATM card. What was Joey's PIN number? That is question 28. You only answer with numbers. My mom quotes more turkey, Mr. Chandler, every Thanksgiving. <laughs> Your mom sounds very fun, Crystal. <laughs> I love it. More turkey, Mr. Chandler? What did you post in the online community? Of the stick stickly video. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, that stick stickly video. I forgot all about that. That's amazing. All right, so this one is pretty tough. Um, if you've never heard it before or if you haven't been taught how to remember it, um, once you know how to remember this, you can at least figure it out in the future. So Joey calls Phoebe and says, hey, listen, I need your help. What's my PIN number? It's scratched into the ATM. The correct answer here is 5639. It's easy to remember. It's a little bit of an Easter egg on the old um, payphone or, or when you had to touch a number to text. If you spell Joey, you get 5639. Thank you for demonstrating. <laughs> yeah. Can you see it? Sometimes my phone disappears on the yeah. screen. 
Five six three nine. Oh, he guessed it right. Good job. Yes, five six three nine. Uh, that's how you know. All right, here we go. Question twenty nine. Only a couple left. When Ross finds out that he got tenure at work, he got his tenure he wanted. He celebrates with a bottle of champagne or sparkling wine, to be specific. Uh, I don't want to mislead you. He celebrates with a bottle of sparkling wine from which country? He talks about it a few times. What country did the sparkling wine came from? This country's finest. Lindsay, great guess. I think, yeah, on the show they called it champagne. But it hurts me. Yeah, it hurt, I, that's why I changed it. That's why I said it. Um, because I don't want to miss... No, no. Gina is fantastic with wine. Um, I wish that I had her taste when it comes to wine. I can drink any wine. Um, I'm not as discerning. I'm currently drinking wine from a box. So yeah, you are. <laughs> she is able to discern great wine, but not hoity-toity about it. She worked for how long? Eight years at a wine bar? Um, so she's the person to call and ask if you have questions about wine. Speaking of, our wine is ready to bottle. We brewed six gallons of uh, Sangiovese San right. downstairs. <laughs> we need another Schitt's Creek trivia. I think the... The people would be happy with it. I would do another Shits Creek trivia if we can include the final yes. the final I'm season. Happy. Oh, Taco's having another screen dream. Just marking some of you right. Uh, oh, a lot of different ways you spelled this. But yeah, I was mentioning we make wine here in the Begatrix household. We have six gallons of Sangiovese in the basement that needs to be bottled. And then we're going to start a new batch. Um, we haven't decided what kind yet. Oh, slight misspelling here. All right, I think everybody's in. Let's see what you thought. Uh, 45 of you said Israel. A couple people said France, Canada, Spain, Italy, Germany, England. The correct answer is Israel. Let's celebrate with a bottle of Israel's finest. Uh, I've never had Israeli wine. Have you? No. I'm sure it would be great. All right, question 30. Only two left. Question 30. This is a number. You can only answer with a number. Roy, donkey lips from Salute Your Shorts. There's a Nickelodeon throwback. Roy, Monica's prom date, made it into the local newspaper because he watched Star Wars. How many times? This is a random question, and I know that. Let's see if you know the answer. How many times? You can only answer with a number. Did Roy, Monica's prom date, watch Star Wars? Uh, that's fine, Tamika. You got points. I marked it right if you spelled it uh, without... You were close. Yeah. Two words. You got points. Don't you worry. Zoom wine tasting sounds like my kind of party. Mm -hmm. Ooh, who said that, Bree? We talked about doing a Zoom wine tasting, right? Uh, yeah. I would like to do that. Uh, we could do a Zoom wine tasting. I mentioned we should do it just with supermarket wines. Oh, you said that. Mm -hmm. Just a supermarket wine, boxed wine wine tasting. Oh, God. Yeah, boxed wine wine tasting. Sure, why not? Let's do it. Boxed wine wine tasting. I'm into it. Other wine tastings are great, but a lot of times you have to pay to do the wine tasting, and then you have to buy six bottles of wine, and they each cost $30. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm not We could do kind of the uh, fun... We'll do it for people who haven't gotten their stimulus checks yet. Yeah, people who haven't gotten their stimulus checks yet. Yes, we have not. All right, uh, let's see what the answer is here. Oh, shit, 52 of you knew this. Uh, the correct answer is 317. Uh, <laughs> Becky, that's funny. Yeah. I feel like the number I'm remembering is actually the number of times Ross and Rachel did it. <laughs> uh, Becky, what number did you think? If you said 300, you'd be correct. Uh, Ross had 298 written down, and then they had sex mm -hmm. two more times in the series. So 300 is how many times they had sex. All right, here we go. Final question, everybody. Final question. Question 31. I honestly, I don't remember what it is. I wrote it just today, and I don't remember. We're waiting for the computer. All right. We're just looking for the name of an individual. Just a first name. A first name of a character on the show. First name of a character. To whom... Was Rachel referring to when she said, I love him. He's so pretty, I want to cry. I don't know what to do. We've all been there. I've been there. 
Only when watching Tiger King. Oh. <laughs> so I guess uh, Nick Cage has been slotted to uh, portray Joe Exotic in a Tiger King docudrama. How do you do a fake series about a real documentary? Nick Cage is going to be Joe Exotic. Oh, what? All right, you guys knew this one. Uh, some of you gave me his last name, so give me one second. I'm just marking him right. Ooh, I like the person that put Ali Beg. Thank you very much. Uh, a lot of you said Joshua, Paolo, Will, Taco, Ross, Paolo, Joey, Miles, Josh, Ali Beg. Thank you again. George Stephanopoulos. Uh, the correct answer here, later on, go on to some CSI fame. Tag. Tag, the correct answer. If you put tag or tag and his last name, you got points. As long as you did not put one of the other answers on the screen, you got points here. Congrats, everybody. You made it all the way through Friends Trivia. That is it in terms of questions. All we have left to do is look at the final standings. Before we do, let me glance at the comments here. Oh, oh, I broke everything. I was trying to make ramen, and I broke it. Uh, my answer was never type of uh, I believe it. Kaylee, I believe it. Um, I was hoping they honored Dax Shepard's request to be Tiger King. I'm with you, Stephanie. I think he'd make a great Tiger King. Uh, Jen Stern on 30 Rock. We may do that in the future. Will you put that on the list? It's on there. It's on there. 30 Rock is on the list. There it is. It's on the list. Lisa I had the right numbers in the wrong order. That happens to me all the time. Um, okay. So we're going to look at the final standings. If you are in the top, if you are in first place, please send a message to the Bank of Tricks Entertainment Facebook page. We will connect with you on how to claim your prize, courtesy of our sponsor tonight. You can see it in the corner there, Bella Rocca Skin Care out of Lombard, Illinois. Thank you so much, Laura and Bella Rocca Skin Care, for sponsoring this tonight. Uh, whoever wins will get this awesome package. You can see on the screen, there's all sorts of great skin care stuff. Uh, if you didn't win, I hope you still had fun. And all right, let's see. Final standings are coming up here in a second. Maybe. All right, in first place at the end, we have How You Doing Tequila something. Geology Rocks in second. L-A-L -L in third. Uh, I didn't see fourth, fifth, sixth, but everything's going to rotate through. Guys, thank you so much for playing this free event with us tonight. Again, um, we are so happy that we can put these events on. We don't charge anything to play. Um, thank you to our sponsor, um, uh, Bella Rocca Skin Care, for offering up this prize package to the individual who finished in first. If you were in first, send us a message to the Bag of Tricks Entertainment Facebook page. Um, that's it, guys. Please join us in the future. Tomorrow we have Music Bingo at 7 o'clock. We have General Knowledge Trivia featuring categories chosen by our donation winner, Maggie, at 9 o'clock. Thursday, General Knowledge Trivia. And the 1980s Pop Culture Trivia, music, movies, TV shows, all sorts of fun stuff from the 80s. And then Friday and Saturday, we're doing general knowledge trivia to benefit two great organizations, The Harbor on Friday and Pause Chicago. Thank you, Jessica, uh, for doing that for us on Saturday. All of the information for all of those events is on our Facebook page and on our website. You can find it all there. Until then, guys, thank you so much for being here. Um, you don't want to see my face. Let's put Taco up for one more second. He is sleeping like a little doggy baby. Uh, we will see you next time. Thank you so much for being here. Please join our online community. Continue the conversation there. Until then, have a great night and wash your dang hands.